Hola. Welcome to Haunted PS1 Demo Disc. The 2021 edition. Now you may be asking, why aren't you doing the 2022 edition? Well, because I needed to do this one first. Um, last year I did the 2020. Now we're doing the 2021. We'll see where we go from there. Um, the Haunted PS1 demo disc that I did last year, I really enjoyed. I thought it was a super cool idea. The aesthetic is awesome. The variety of like all these weird little games that may or may not be full games eventually. Really, really awesome stuff. Like, treading from actually spooky, scary games to like experimental to like surreal crazy stuff like there's, you could get anything out of these discs and I don't even know what's gonna be in here hey Asian Sleepy what's up and hey Blaze the heart is beating but anyway we have a lot of games to get through I think there's like 22 demos on here so we're probably gonna end up splitting this into two streams like I did last year um So yeah, let's go ahead and look at that. Look at our cursor, it's an eyeball. I'm not sure what free play is. We'll just keep these settings how they are. So let's go ahead and let's start this. Boom. Oop. Weird, when you hit enter, it goes to the next one. So I'm just gonna click start. Here we go. Oh. Okay, a little different from the last disc I played. Instead of selecting a game on a menu, they've thrown us right into this alleyway. This is giving me vibes of the, um, oh, what was it called? It was one of my favorite demos from the last disc. It was a recreation of the developer's dreams, basically, of several of their dreams. It was like, um, Insomnium or something. This is very Silent Hilly, now that you mention it, Peck, of all the fog. Already interesting. I don't even know what the controls... Okay, so if you go here... I don't know what classic controls mean. We're, we're going into this completely blind mouse and keyboard. They either a stain or some type of graffiti on that wall. We have six people here. That's awesome. I'm glad because this is this is a fun time. I assume. Oh, we can run with shift. Just figured that out. I have no idea what we're what we're playing right now because they just threw us right into a one of the demos. It looks like. Oh. Base. Is there a hub? Oh, that looks like the dude. It is the. That's the skeleton. The mascot. Welcome, friend. Friend. Welcome to the museum, you, you poor unfortunate soul. Here we have exactly what you need. Haunted games birthed from the accursed minds of your world. Lose yourself in them as they pierce through your corneas and into the back of your skull. You may never leave this place, so make the best of it. Oh, and uh, one more thing. No smoking in the museum. Absolutely no dying in the museum. Don't go getting your corpse germs all over everything. Um, so interesting. Th this demo has a whole hub for the demos. I can't go to these. I don't know if these are secrets or if it's for decoration. 
Because I was thinking that too. Maybe we're going to hop into some paintings. Hey there, Joe. What's up? Oh, the bathroom. It actually let us go in. I don't even think it actually has to load anything. I think that's legit, le legitimately just for the style. Stylistic choice. Also, look how short we are. We're like a little kid. I feel, like, I feel like a lot of FPS games do that. They make your... Uh, character feel particularly short. Layout reminds me of the Namco Museum. Okay, well this is the, the first demo of the game. It's called Bathroom. It's called the, uh... What do you call it when it's a bathroom that's not specifically for male or female? Unisex? It's a unisex bathroom. Well, that was a fun demo. Are you short in Bioshock as well? Oh, he's gone. Look at that. A big statue of him. Wow, I was not expecting this, honestly. I think I heard something that like the newest one that came out this year had a hub. Like you're in a mall or something. I didn't know that this one had anything like that. Like an elevator. Okay, well before we go in the elevator, let's check out this uh, exhibits down here. Like a bar? Yeah, I'll take uh, your finest. Virgin Mary. Oh. Enter password. Uh, password. That always does it. Ah, nice try. Oh, yep, see? That was a special message. Ooh. and one I mean wait that would have been 2021 okay I guess we need to find the password for that this is like this is like really surprising to me that there's oh haunted demo disc 2021 launcher team the developer bright so this is the credits for I believe a demo called launcher Oh, it's like a stone tablet. Listen to that. Oh, wait, museum music. Germ. Thank you so much for playing. Return after X loop. That was the credits. Oh, the launcher is the whole museum level. Yeah, that, I think that is because it said it said museum music right there. I noticed. Um, interesting. So this is a special area. I don't think there's any games in here, as far as I can tell. But I think we need to go up to the next floor. Uh, yeah, apparently this game does have secrets. I think I found out recently. That the 2020 uh, PS1 demo disc that I did last year actually had a couple secret games that you have to look into the files to find, and I didn't know it when I did my review, unfortunately. So that's something I might want to uh, keep an eye out here. Did I just click on floor one, which is the floor we're already on? Oh, okay. Here we go. Look at it. These are exhibits, all right. Oh, man. They all go in a circle, don't they? Okay, all right, well, we need to keep track of uh, the ones we play, so I think we... I'm gonna start here and then go counterclockwise until we, we get back to this spot. Is it, actually, this might be all the games, let's see. Two, three. No, 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 there's only nine. Okay, so each floor will have another set of games. Okay, so we will we'll start with this one. 
Uh, echo stasis prologue. Information. Echo stasis. Step into your chamber. Let her do the rest. Content warning: flashing light. So in case anyone's. You know, Enigma Studio. So this is really cool because we. Whoa, okay. I clicked information and it opened Google Chrome. I didn't expect that to happen. It, it sent me to their Twitter account, which is good. Uh, it's good that you get all the credits like this. I was thinking Spamton too when I saw that. All right, let's uh let's try our first demo, Echo Stasis. But remember, this isn't uh this isn't the museum anymore. This is the first demo. I think. Oh, launching game. Okay. Switch windows if you can read this. Close game or press escape to return to launcher. Oh, that's right. Each game is its own um, launch file. I forgot about that. So hopefully we don't run into any issues. Hang on. Before I go right into there, I wonder if that's necessary that we have a whole room we have to come into before we launch the game. Oh wait, it just launched the, the same window, I think. Hang on, let me make sure it's popping up for you guys. I'm gonna wait. Oh no, no, you guys are still seeing. Okay, yeah, so I need to manually switch over. So give me one second. Uh, hopefully recognizes. Yes. Okay. It looks like it's working. Good. Sorry, my uh, OBS window. Okay. All right. Here we go. Look at this. Oh man, the filter they have on here. It's it's like a VHS tape. Software contains scenes of flashing lights, discretion advised. Headphones are recommended. I'm not going to be using headphones. I'll turn my volume up. Press Alt plus Enter to toggle full screen mode. Okay. F to toggle reduced flashing. I'm going to keep the flashing on for right now just to kind of get the full effect of the game. But if it's like seems really bad. I mean, we do have a warning here. Um, we could try it, see how the reduced mode is. All right. Enigma Studio. Whoa. Malicious code detected. Uh oh. Hyper reality engine rebuild protocol. Being intercepted. You may be in contact with her. Who is her? <laughs> what? Bro, thank you for waiting. Is already trippy. Good point, uh, Blaze. I should probably post the uh, source of this in the description. Um, I'll do that after the stream's over. But you should, if you just Google a haunted PS1 demo disc, you should be able to find all the different discs. They have a website. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the tutorial. Here you will learn the basics. Was sad to move. Mouse to look. Okay. The background before it loaded in, it looked like almost like real life, except just this is the effect of that tree loaded. There is a green halo above us. Ooh. I'm loving the effect. Joaquin Phoenix movie? Uh, oh, this is good. 
Chappelle, Chappelle, Chapel Tour, <laughs> the Chappelle. Wait, how do I, oh click? How do I get in there? They didn't actually say how to open doors, did they? They just said, or did I miss that somehow? Not space, it's not click. Maybe I can't go in there yet? Hang on, what if I do this? Yeah, this is the 2021 uh, disc that I'm playing right now. Maybe this is one of those things where I want you to head back and then something happens. Oh wait, there's another path right here. something about these like effects like it's it's so fuzzy and filtered but there's like like a lot of like nice reflective detail in there like right there and something about this just feels surprisingly detailed despite like uh so dark it's really hard to see I assume it's on purpose oh chapel chapel door that's where we just uh huh so we just found a different route in because the chapel door wouldn't open I'm guessing Another thing is that these are all demos and they may all be at different stages of development, so we don't exactly know how far we're going to be able to get into the chapel door. Another chapel door? that one spot so uh okay so these both just lead up to a dead end this is looks like the inside of the chapel Brighter than they were before. Hang on a second. No, yeah, yeah. It seems like time has passed. Maybe not. I don't know what's going on? No, it is brighter now. Look. Sometimes. Looks like we're kind of blocked off, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. Well, 
I need to decide at a certain point how much longer I should mess around with some of these games, because we I would like to get to the end of each demo. I think we did do that for the most part of in, in the last disc, but um, I kind of have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. See, now it's so, so light. I can make my way to the chapel this way. Chapel door. Clicking on it doesn't do anything. Space bar doesn't do anything. I don't think. Am I spooked? Well, this is a great... Um, oh! There we go. I had a feeling when I looked up. I don't know how I didn't notice that last time. Okay. So there's latches up here that we need to remove. I'm glad that I, I came back here and tried that. Okay, now the latches are removed, so... Oh! Look at that, it opened. Um... Aha! So now we can go in there and see what that's all about. The, the vibe here is excellent. Whoa! Prologue rebuild, hyper alley engine status automatic, current admin, Enigma Technologies, Entity is currently an Echo, Entity ID 65, Entity is awaiting interview 1. Who's this, another lost soul? Arriving here expecting utopia? Warning, this reality is not your own. Turn back now. Turn back. I don't want to just go back. This is so trippy. These visuals are. It's so good. Was it Sacroph Sacrophagus? Is that like a Greek god? I bet you Fak knows. Fak's a. do anything with this yet. There's a lot of stuff behind. Sarcophagus. Oh, that just says sarcophagus? Am I... <laughs> Whoops. My bad. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna blame it on the font and the statue. Picking my brain. Do this sound. The dynamic sounds. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, a shotgun! On second thoughts, is that a typo? Perhaps you could be of some use. Hold right click thing. Okay, I was not expecting a sh like battle. You know what to do. Do I? There's a laser sight! Oh, it's your boy! Alright. <laughs> Memory established. All has them. About the statue. You can help, re you can help me reclaim this land. Echostasis can now begin. Dude, is that him in there? In the in the fetal position? Dude, look at the water reflection. This game is gorgeous. This demo is gorgeous. Forgo your flesh. Where new world awaits. Oh! All right then. Tutorial complete. I'm guessing that would have killed me if I didn't shoot it. Well, that sold me. That sold me. If this, if they finish this game, holy crap.
I'm totally down. Our new world awaits. Still searching for Utopia? Step into your chamber. Look at it, they had it's like the exhibit, like demo has its own like movie poster. Was that there last time? I feel like this room was empty, right? Is that because we completed it? Dude, Kiko, this, th these PS1 demo, haunted demo discs are so sick. Unavailable in demo on Oculus. So this isn't a homebrew, it's, it's just done in the style of a PS1 game, all these demos. None of these are actually like developed with a PS1. Um... Wait, am I still in the game? Are they actually tripping me out? appear to have lost consciousness for a moment. Are you okay? Just enter to feel okay. Dude, you're right! They just inception us. I sure hope so, because we've got a serious problem on our hands. Can you ask me about anything that appears in brackets like this? A cyber attack has just been launched on our network. We're still attempting to identify the source of the attack. Here's what we know. The attacks focus on the chamber. Okay. User seems to be unaware of what's happening. You could type in their I entity ID. I can run a scan of their chamber. Wasn't it 65? Hey, I remembered. Good job. I'll connect to their chamber and run diagnostics. I should have tried other things though, like uh, anything or chamber, but... One moment. Dude, that's an elevated heart rate if I've ever seen one. This is not good. It seems as though they're losing connection to their core with every second. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is... Never mind, that's not possible. In any case, we need to think of a solution before it's too late. Core is thought to be the essence of a human. Core has long been considered uh, the holy grail of all development, key to creating authentically empathetic fabricated abilities. Immature on nature, the, so it's like a soul, basically. Absolutely anything. <laughs> I'm programmed to respond. Can that be a smart ass? Yes. Just like that. Okay. Um I forgot what I was supposed to type in uh Yeah, solution. There we are. I may have an idea. Gosh, I hope we never have to do this. Okay. Computer program we used a couple years back. I think it may be able to help us. Problem is, the use of this program has since been outlawed, so my programming forbids me from even mentioning it. Kind of a bummer. Okay. Uh, yes, me. Or on purpose. Uh, we may be in luck. The program could help us was originally used on this very terminal, which means there's a chance it could still be installed. Enigma terminal. to Windows? Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. I just wanted to look at the, uh, engraving. Hang on, so 
if I press F2... Is there a way to get out of the, uh, leave? Right. Exit. Um. Is he, he said to look at the engraving above the terminal, but I, I can't do that while I'm right here. I try. Oh, you think I should quit? I think that this is we're in the game now, though. So if I put quit out to see, it says return to Windows. I just hope it doesn't quit us out of the game, because it looks like... Yeah, that quit us, that closed the game, unfortunately. See, I knew, I knew that's what it was going to do, because F2 were the actual settings of that game. Um, damn, that was getting interesting. Okay, well, I think we need to move on to the next demo because uh, we've already spent a lot of time. That was really trippy, though, because I thought that we had exited the game and they, they put us, like, in a room. It tricked me because I have that type of brain where I don't... I have a hard time memorizing specific visuals. I just like, oh, we're, we're back where we were. Like, I didn't even, like, I, I was noticing things that weren't there before, but I wasn't, I was questioning if that was added or if it was just something I didn't notice. So if they were trying to trick us into thinking that we were out of that demo, then they succeeded. Okay. Oh, there's a check mark. Does that mean I beat it? Or I did at least enough of it? Okay, so that was, um... Echo Stasis. Oh, sorry. I, fr I, I need to switch OBS every time I change, uh... God damn it, I was muted. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay, so let me let me re retrace my steps here. Um 
So when I was out there, I noticed that the question mark info things turned to, to a check mark. After, and I don't know if it's because I met a requirement or if it's because I played the game or what, but we have a check mark now in that first demo. The second thing that's blowing my mind, does each of these demos have their own unique exhibit room before you even get into the uh, game, the demo, which is like, that's really elaborate. Like that last one was like, you know, it felt like an art exhibit room. This is like, look at this. So that's really surprising me. Oh yeah, the ghost, yeah, is like, if anything is representing our actions. This is uh, cool. So, you said there was an exclamation point back here? Because I noticed it just pop up again right now, but I don't know what for exactly. Yeah, I don't know. You would think that's something you can interact with, I don't know. I can't fall off now, I notice. It's good. Anyway, okay, let's make our way to this demo. I have a feeling that this uh, demo disc might take a little longer to get through than uh, the last one. Oh! Oh, this game launched completely different. The other one was a terminal. This one, we went down a dark... Um, oh, wait, sorry. The exhibit rooms are designed around things in the game, it looks like. And this is completely different already from the last one we just played. It also sounds louder. I hope that's okay. Followed it into an abyss. Whoops, I missed something. We're following something into an abyss. It led me downward beyond retrieval before finally disappearing. I've been lost for 253 years. God, it's uh long time to be lost. I have been lost... Oh, already said that. Like, sorry, I missed like all of that because someone walked in while that was happening. And because of like the way this is all set up, I didn't um, know if I could pause it or whatever. Anyway, um, we've been lost for 253 years. Um, I'll press E to continue. I must find the thing before my energy core expires. Okay, thank you. You move really fast, by the way. So, we're trying to find something. Oh, oh, I think we died. Try that again. Oh. What the heck? 
I'm sorry, my perspective there was... Oh, I thought that was the floor. Oh, that's right. Because I was on a small ledge. That tripped me out. I thought that... It still kind of looks like we're uh, not right side up, doesn't it? Hold left control to slow down. There's a slow down button rather than it. Uh, I wish it was shift and not control. It's a lot harder for me to reach that. H to toggle waypoint hands. Okay. H again to shift. They're currently optional. Use them if you're very lost. I don't want to do any waypoint hints yet. So if I click, I do a grappling hook. Done. I don't know if I like didn't read the instructions. Sorry, I got really thrown off. Just clicking isn't doing anything. I mean, it looks like something, right? There's, maybe we need to find a grappling hook. Use. They'll teach us how to use it or something. Um, hopefully we can make this jump. Ooh. Or maybe it's telling you the distance that you won't die, like if you try to drop down. Precision jumps may take a few simulations. No, it's not, because X is right in front of me, so I can't. slide on steeply angled surfaces. too far down oh maybe it's when they say slide because they introduce slide and then this happens and it made me think oh sliding's bad it's something you want to avoid but i think what they're trying to tell me is that i can slide on that yeah Checkpoints you literally like wherever you were on before you fell last, which is cool. Controls seem to be working pretty well so far. jumps. This seems like when this comes out, or even right now, it'll be a good speedrun game. I mean, they do already keep track of your, uh, your time. This way. Oh, I see. There we go. What is this? 
Is that what we were chasing? E to pick up climbing picks. Easy to move around on walls. Oh no, this poor newspaper astronaut. Make it. Oh, look at that. Okay, but there is an energy limit. Oh, and if you jump, you waste more energy. Oh, and it said to go through the lights, that's okay. I'm gonna bar it, yeah. Whoops. Not everything is climbable. Hover over your target. Okay, alright, that's what the arrow is telling us. So you were close. It's almost a uh, grappling hook situation. And shimmy around the structure to reach the other side. to each other, so. I'm surprised you don't just click to use this. Maybe I can click to. Nothing else here, it seems. You need the picks to go back to where you entered this section. Maybe there's another way you could travel further. It seems to be a light way far off in that distance. I really wish you could just click the wall. But this seems to be like it'll be leading us back to where we came, right? So I'm curious to see if we could like get over here somehow. There seems to be like a far off light in the distance. I don't know if they're just teasing us. But... No, you know what? I don't think I can make it up. What's down here? Look at that, look at that. Let's go this way. Can you jump, fall, lock, then hook again to save yourself? Oh, good question. Let's try that out. I don't think I could try that out right here. I'll try it out when I get the chance. Alright, right here we'll try it out. No, it's not letting me hook the wall. So once you're in danger fall... I mean, you could like fall and then hook and then fall and then hook probably, you just can't fall t for too long. But every time you let go, you lose a chunk of, uh, of your stamina. Yeah, I envision that this is going to be at least three streams. The last demo disc was uh, two streams, but this one, like, these, these games feel like they're going to take a bit longer to get into. Sounds like a speedrun strat. Oh, I'm going the right way. That's, that is one thing I'm a little concerned about. It's a little hard for me to tell where I've been already, or where I should be going. I don't see any more lights, so that's probably not the best sign. Oh yeah, the waypoints, that's true. Um, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going the right way. That, that's nice just to confirm. Oh, you might follow this dev on Twitter. Uh, Joe, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool so far. Drop down. Stealth, I mean stamina. Let me get some stealth back real quick. And 
time I blit, why did I do that? <laughs> that was kind of risky. Lorne's Lore. That's the name, don't wear it out. Oh, you can't hook into slanted groups. I could see this being really fun for speedrunners. I say that as I almost fall to my doom. Oops. Thank you, times two. Almost an hour, and this is barely the second demo. So that yeah, I, I, I it's a good thing we started this much um, early into the month. Well, I'll just say that. Turns out all you needed were, were two, whoop, two uh, pickaxes, and then you're you're Spider-Man. You're good to go. Oops. I wonder what that blue is over there. so big it's definitely cool but i do also feel like this is this uh demo is going to take a, a bit of time if we go through it all so i might have to end this one preemptively we'll see how much farther we can get uh, before i do that Oh, it was just barely too uh, far. A manga artist who does big infinite environments. Almost like a liminal space type of situation. Scan things by pointing at them and holding the left click button. See, I still I feel like the clicks would have worked better with hooking onto the walls. It just feels natural, and then the scanning could have been the E button. It is encrypted and able to read log. Darn. Well, not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. get all the way down there. Um, okay, 
um, test. Drop. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Oh, let's go over here. We haven't been over here yet. Yeah, I mean, it's different from liminal spaces, I know, but like liminal spaces for me gives the impression that they go on infinitely. But you probably mean more like wide open spaces. Materials dust structure are known as scientific records. Highly dense, undateable existence. Oh, jeez. Darn. Oh, that didn't check by me very well, did it? Let me scan this again in case I have to. Construct it, but out of scale, that would be impossible to construct. Okay, so let's go back this way, maybe? It looks like it's just a leads to nothing, though. But why would this be here? Otherwise... Huh. Didn't checkpoint me there, either. Waypoints is go down there, but I don't know which wall you mean because there's a lot of walls. Um, this wall. Whoops. Well, I tried. I tried getting down using a wall. This wall. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it. Whoops. There we go. Hmm. Okay, now this one we want to screw up. I think I wanted it. to really utilize these slides, I've realized. It's still weird though that the check... Do you see that? Like the black smoke? Oh, that was just the camera perspective. Um, it is kind of weird though that the it doesn't checkpoint you at the, uh, the data thing, but maybe that's not important anyways. It's just like lore. It's l lore's lore. It's the lore of... Of uh, Lauren's lure. It's just starting to feel like a tongue twister. What? That killed me. There we go.
this is pretty long for a demo, honestly. I, I'm surprised. This this seems like, depending on how long they plan the game to be, this almost just feels like a like a like a pre-release beta or something. Yeah, this doesn't even feel like one of those games that you get lost in. Which I. If this was like the only game I was playing tonight, I could totally put so much time into this, but I, I'm starting to feel like I do need to move on soon. Another demo. chasing I was starting to believe I'd die down here without seeing it again. But here it is. Oh, look, 200 years and you're starting, just barely starting to think. Oh! There it went. Alright, we did it. Okay, glad. I'm glad we were able to get to the end of that demo. Cool. Alpha demo. Cool, cool, cool. Switch back to the hub. Okay. Should be good. So yeah, the fact that each exhibit has its own custom entry point is really really cool like i wonder if they took assets no they didn't because the the other exhibit room in the first game looked based on the demo but different huh i don't think they even took assets i think they looked at the game and they just re they just built a room around that so we have another checkpoint that's cool janitor bleeds has a very old school arcade look. Enter an abandoned amusement arcade. When the events of a cursed arcade game start bleeding into the real world, will you keep playing? Mild depictions of blood. Or Yeah, this seems like we're kind of going to ch shift gears here with this one gonna be an arcade right it's got to be an arcade for the for the exhibit room oh even better a completely barren arcade save for a single cabinet and with a single light above it oh great nice and creepy ain't it does, does it just keep going Well, I was expecting schlock, but this room makes me think otherwise.
I did mute again. Sorry. Every time I change Windows, I have to hit the my hotkey for muting. Um, and I thought I I thought I had checked for sure, but apparently I didn't. There have been multiple reports of people disappearing along that very same forest road, never to be seen again. So this guy went missing. His his car. He was last seen exiting a bar. They found his car on a foresty road. Oh, here I am. I'm the missing man. Great, we're gonna find out uh, how we went missing, apparently. Classic tree blocking a, a path. Although it looks like we could... Okay, no. I didn't see the... Oh, I... My mute hotkey is fine 90% of the time. It's just... For this game, I think I had the same problem in the last demo. I have to hit, um, I have to hit alt to swap the screens to get out of the game. I have to press alt and tab. Uh, that was red. I don't usually use alt very often. And I've been using that as my hotkey for like two years now, so it'd be kind of hard to like switch it at this point. Why not insert or arrow key right? Insert? I don't think I have an insert key on my Oh, that's like in the weird section where there's those buttons you never use. Amos Arcade. Amo. The interesting name. Oh, flashlight. Good. Love me, don't eat me. Is that like a like a vegetarian, like vegan uh, graffiti? Well, the alt key is also just like like right now, for instance, like I could easily, I could just quickly boom hit it to mute it. Um, like when the person barged in minute ago it's like I don't have to think about it like my thumb could just instantly go to it if I put it anywhere else I'll have to like scramble and try to find it that's why I have it where it is ah um I can't read that my light is too bright oh well Emo's Arcade. Hated by all. Bridge Head Boy? Enemy of demons hated by all. Poor Fridge Head Boy. This one I can't make out. Oh! To change the scrolling. So we're gonna get more items. Imagine someone IRL writing press control graffiti. Yeah. Oh, is that Punch Out? Let's play Punch Out. I actually don't like Arcade Punch Out as much as NES Punch Out, but it's still Punch Out. Origin. Kill, kill, kill. This must be really popular arcade. And Torgen as well. Boy, like you could win a big whale. Ah. Tucker? A weird name for air hockey. I've never heard of that one. Flower? That's just awkward to pronounce. <laughs> Looks like you could just grab the in. The, well, this is a 
abandoned an arcade. Vegas pot. You gotta have your pinball machine. Racing game, drag race. Kilometer rally. Yeah, it was not going there quite yet. I feel figures some. Alright. Last of Vegas. Both of the pinball games are like gambling or money themed or something. It's so dark when you're not using your flashlight. Soda. Coin. There we go. Now we can actually play an arcade game. That door's locked. Question is, what game do we play? There must be one special arcade cabinet. I mean, these, none of these are in commission, clearly, so we need to find the one that's actually still alive. Base Calvary. Before... There's another door in the bathroom? I mean, there's a lot of doors. Revolt. Rose Mill. Wait, the cheese of vengeance? Is that what it says? Big cheese. Back for a vengeance. Wait, the big cheese is back for a vengeance. Homo ex machina? This is definitely. I think the the other doors outside were locked, so I think we need to just keep. Okay. Think. Oh, the key. Now we could uh, open those doors. Oh, the power! There's actually power in this place. Okay, we have the green key, so now we have the key for the green doors. We don't need our flashlight anymore. Oh, more coins. Oh, this is neat. I already went in there. And now we have a key. I wonder if you need the light to like keep away something. Probably you'll be switching. That's a blue door. The red door must be the last. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so there was a green door in the bathroom. Oh! There it is! Do not peer. Do not. So these must each be answers. I can't believe this uh this one arcade cabinet was hidden back here in the bathroom area in the secret in thir insert three coins uh oh that's an expensive arcade cabinet what is a santa monica pier um i have three coins find another coin if I need to do another uh, if I need to play this again um but maybe like when you play then we'll s unlock more stuff or something. oh look at us we're the janitor gotta clean up that mess 
Mouse one to clean. That's like Atari sound effects. Well, this is pretty exciting so far. space I didn't notice that there was an open one oh uh oh the power went back out I need to turn the power back on before whatever made that sound. Oh, red. Oh. oh. Can't turn the power back on. Okay. Guess that's not what we need to do then. You've actually seen this game before? Oh, there's a vent back there. I didn't notice that last time. Music's getting really intense now. Soda cans get in this vent. That's a little concerning. Oh, the full game of this actually released. Once again, I'm, I'm a little surprised at how much they're showing us. I don't think I'm gonna have enough coins for that unless I find another coin in here. Oh, speak of the devil. Gotta be like another key in here too or something. Oh, another coin. Oh, another another coin. Alright, we gotta play some more. Keep pressing space first, but you have to... Now we're in the office. Click IRL. Whoa. Suddenly got a lot more elaborate. triangle whoa oh it's the it's the portal except in real life holy crap oh do I need to go through the vent again maybe oh no it stopped 
Okay, let's try that again. I don't know if I was supposed to fail that or not. Okay, yeah, we did. Let's let's try. Uh, like, if I run out of coins, we're gonna be in trouble. But. the key for oh because it's real life right so i prod it and i drop it here yeah that now we have the yellow such an old older game style thing where you have to like hold the same button to instead of crouch like go all the way to the ground I, I feel like I haven't played a game that does that in a while I'm gonna need to find three more coins too probably Going prone, yeah. I feel like that was like an older game thing where you hold the crouch button to go prone. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. That yellow door. Oh, that's a blue door. Where was that other, where was that yellow door at? I know it was in here. I have green and yellow. There wasn't one in the bathroom. It was just the, the one door. It's not even there anymore. That's chill. But where, where was that yellow door at? For some reason. It figured I would have checked over here too. Oh, well I... I opened this just now. Oh, the other way, right? Wasn't there very yellow? A new janitor closet appeared by the pool table. Oh, the 
arcade cabinet. Damn, but I don't have three coins. Oh, there's one. Okay, I had a, I was afraid this might happen. I am shy of coins now. Oh, you didn't get a notification for the stream? That's, that's... Darn you, YouTube. There's several on seats around the arcade. Just stepped on something. What the heck was that? There's two on the pool table, because I picked up one on the pool table. Ski ball. I stepped on an egg. I don't think I even noticed the ski ball. Where the heck's the ski ball? Oh no, I remember. That was like right near the entrance, huh? There's another one on the pool table. Well, we're gonna need more coins though, unless they have excess coins. Where was the ski ball? Oh, I see. Right next to the machine, too. Oh, there's one in the air hockey? Ah, I looked on that too. I just didn't see it, I guess. Oh. Because I looked on that one, but not. but hang on, where is the ski ball? Ski ball is usually against the wall when you're in an arcade, right? It's not one that's usually in the middle of the room. Here we go. There we go. Like I should get one more, because I I might need to do two plays here. I've only found one on it on one seat. So if they're on several seats, there, sh there sh must be one that I've, I've missed. Oh, look! It's a little skeleton guy. How did I? Okay. Didn't have a coin for me though. Oh, there's gotta be one like around here, maybe. Alright. No luck. Nah, maybe I'll just play and then we'll see. Maybe I only need one play. I'm supposed to go on the skeleton? You think so? I'll just go play. Maybe we only need the one play and then we'll unlock another door to find more coins. Hopefully.
think so far the demos on this haunted demo disc is, are even better than the one the ones in the last one which were already pretty cool blue key door right here oh is that gonna oh that's the demo okay i i was looking for more coins for nothing <laughs> all right well we we uh we completed another demo wow. cool stuff i'm curious how long is the full game because it feels like it must be like a short game but um Pretty fun. Like I mean the full the uh, full version that, that came out. Okay. Alright. So we should have another check mark. Yeah, it's been in like 90 minutes and we've done three demos Woo. this one this might be like a four stream thing at this point in it okay but we got three check marks so that's good and i'm not complaining like this is great i just didn't expect that it was going to be this much content the drowning machine all right If you want a demo, I bet the demo for Tori 3D. Or... Oh, look at this. I keep forgetting that each demo has its own special exhibit room. The drowning machine. Extreme danger submerged. Submerged where? I'm guessing if I examine that sign, we're going to jump into the game. All right. Um, I'm gonna go do Walter time, and I also I have some uh, dog food that I have to put away. So I might take a little bit longer than usual, but I will be back. I'll try to be quick, and then we will play some more of this see what other crazy demos they have for us.
Okay, we're back. We back. Okay, so are you ready for extreme danger? The drowning machine? I am. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. Um, I may have encountered an issue that I had with the first game where there was like a couple games that I just couldn't run for some reason. And I don't think we would have time to troubleshoot this at the moment. So I might have to skip over this for now. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this one, unfortunately. Okay, um, dang, this looks cool. I mean, at least we got to load in the exhibit room. Sorry about that. I'll try my best to see if what I did last time is I think fact helped me out and he he ran through and recorded like the two games that I couldn't play myself. Okay, so all you had to do is go in there and you get a check mark. So I guess you don't have to actually play and beat them or whatever to... I feel like we're gonna get something after we've checked them. Or maybe that's just keeping track of which ones we played already. Either way. All right, let's, let's cross our fingers and hope that that doesn't happen again. For now we have the Hellwald loophole? The Hellwald loophole. The Hellwald Klinkum once had a reputation of being one of the most reliable medical facilities in Germany. That all changed when that weird loophole appeared. Sudden loud noises. Well. Alright. Check it out. 
Too bad you guys were, we were, that was a bad time to take a break because all that anticipation for the game we couldn't play. Oh gosh, there's like a dead body on the floor. I like how like the lines get bendy when you look at them from an angle. You look at them straight on and they're straight. It's probably okay. Um, uh, um, okay, hang on a second. Something just happened. For some reason, the drowning machine just opened. Um, so we can play the drowning machine, it looks like. So, uh, hooray. Good, I guess. Okay. The, the, the hub, uh, the hub game is still making noise, so I need to fix that. Okay, now we should be good. Okay, we do get to play the journey machine. So, read before playing. My mouse is not letting me... It was letting me move around at first. What's going on now? Okay, now it's working. Okay, good. I feel it's important to warn you of exactly what you're about to see. As much as it's been incredibly painful to work on, I feel that this message is one that needs to be heard. Oh, in February of 2019, my best friend Charlie took his own life. He was a brother to me as much as he, as he was a friend. A few months before his passing, he and I had begun to work on a game together, a project he loved dearly. What you're about to see is the closest I will ever come to his original vision, wrapped in my own experience, mourning his loss. Wow. This is very heavy origins. The Drowning Machine is a testament to his life and creativity and the real unfiltered experience of losing a loved one to suicide. I've attempted to start this project a number of times under different names and perspectives, but this has been the only way this feels right. Before he passed, he insisted that if anything bad ever happened to one of us, the other had to finish the game. Profit from the Drowning Machine will be donated to a trans lifeline in Charlie's honor. Wow, that's, that's really, really heavy. Okay, well that is, phew, getting in, into this. Um, alright, let's play. Whoa, is that on purpose? Look at that. Every freefall, wonderless, phew, Exactly. The beginning. You were gone long before I ever knew to start looking. I watched as your spine began to snap. Reverie contains excerpts from the poem Severance, written by Charlie, provided before his passing. Alright, let's play it. Wait. This opened up a link to the website. I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh-oh. Oh, coming soon. If I knew it was the last time I would ever see you, would I have acted differently? I felt betrayed and I'll regret it forever. I tore out my fingernails waiting to hear your voice. I keep telling myself that the blood made me miss that call. Freefall contains excerpts from the poem Selfish, written by Charlie, provided before 
wanderer. During a period of grief, sometimes it's better to fight your way to the surface, trying desperately to breathe again. Sometimes it's just safer to sink beneath the waves. Wanderlust contains excerpts from the poem Break It Down, written by Charlie. Endless questions doomed never to be answered once more around the sun without him. After what I'd seen, I couldn't bear the thought of having to see you in that coffin. The makeup artist at the last funeral could barely cover the marks. Elegy was created in three hours. Using the poem, Your Actions Will Have Consequences, written by Charlie. Um. Figure out... Maybe these gray ones will work? Someone's going a little weird here. Let me try this again. Play. So coming soon, coming soon. Okay, we have to pick the one that doesn't say coming soon. Um, one of them that doesn't say coming soon. So, three. Play. There we go. Disclaimer. Free fall and all other excerpts from Johnny Machine contain heavy reference to real death, suicide, so yeah, a lot of a lot of dark themes and serious stuff. Okay. Warning to everyone watching. Like we're in like a found a nest of birds huddled together in the corner of the porch overhang of our family home spring and the newborn babies had to eat the incessant chirping was mind numbing the trees are upside down what the heck but the birds in the Have you heard from Charlie? No, why? He sent me something weird. Haven't heard from him since Friday. I'm getting worried. Not letting me scroll. Yeah, I'm trying to scroll right now and it's not letting me scroll, unfortunately. I can walk forward though. One morning the chirping was different. A tiny baby bird with no eyes to see had fallen from its home. The thing was pathetic. Whoa. Screaming for help from the pavement below. But as we all know, you're not supposed to touch a baby bird. I left it there to wait for its mother. Whoa. Teleported. The night fell and the bird's cries for help went unheeded, now weak with exhaustion. I did what I could to keep it from harm. Trying desperately to bring it closer to its home. I fear I may have sealed its fate. Um, it was fun at first, the brush of wings, the words between words. Look at all the things that are popping up. I see Charlie, I see Goodbye, I see The Wanderer, I see Suicide. I think those are all like this similar like names for the same person. I think it is supposed to be doing this. I think that's on purpose. Sunlight lingered on his lips, danced in his smile, radiated from his eyes, a heavenly gleam that seemed to blot out the endless ocean. The, the lilting swallow melody that covered the notes of my own swan song. Can we go up here? We can go. Elevator. Whoa, how are we?
Oh, sick the fluids were laid out across the stark white where it laid. The baby never stood a chance. Oh. I laid at an impasse. My daughter had seen the bird, saw how it yearned to live. She wanted to see it reunited with, it, with its family. I couldn't stand the thought of her cries when she discovered it, crying out for its own mother. I'm starting to really worry. He usually doesn't disappear for this long. He can't be gone for real this time. I can't do this without him. James lives on the same campus. I'll ask him to go knock on Charlie's door. He left a note on our server saying we could split up his stuff when he's gone. Tell your friend to effing hurry. Jeez. Those are probably real text messages too. That sound effect, like, that sounds like, I don't know, like a noose or something, doesn't it? Like, at least a rope. Very... The chairs are so big. I was suddenly the only person on Earth, the only person in this garden of weeds, thoughtlessly, uh, autonomously grabbing at the rose that called to me, thinking it was normal, it was beautiful. When my blood fell on the petals because it was his color, and how could that be wrong? Cupid's bow bent and slung those words into my bloodstream. I love you. When it comes to lies, the heart-shaped arrow kills just the same as the spade, and sometimes the anger consumes me. Memoriam, I laid the baby to rest in the garden, behind the bushes, out of sight. I thought I had done it a favor. Maybe the mother would finally come to care for her sickly child. Maybe it still had a chance. I try not to think about it. I try desperately to bury myself in my work. I try desperately, uh, anything to escape the memories of its cries. But the chirping wouldn't stop. No matter what I tore away or hid behind, the screams would never stop. I mean, apparently originally they were go they were working on a game with their friend, and then their friend took their own life, and they asked them to. They said they wanted them to finish it. Right. So they kind of turned the game into this, like. So in a way, they fulfilled their friend's wishes, but at the same time, it's like, about what happened. A double-headed snake with no eyes thrashing blindly, purposeless, uh, purposeless teeth bared because five years ago I was murdered, or maybe I wasn't. Is it murder if I provided the knife and let him into my home? Crystal clear, the sun's rays can sear a brand of foolishness into virgin skin. But it always happens as a warm, familiar glow. My life, it seems, is controlled by a single letter of the alphabet. Faith, fall, face, flight, fail, freeze, forget. I feel like it, it was a mixture of, of them fulfilling what their friend kind of wanted them to finish a game together. And also kind of a tribute or a a way to um sometimes you know like when you're dealing with something like that it can help you express yourself and you know or grieve or have closure in some sense if you're able to make something out of it i guess as like a creative person like the things are so glitchy and stuff oh racked with guilt and desperation i took one last look the chirping had stopped, but the wailing had only just begun. Maybe it would have been better if it had passed on long ago. I can't, um... The swarming mass of biting ants. I think this is... someone falling. The agonizing screams of a baby in pain. 
Yep. And a family of birds now silent. Free fall, yeah. I mean, that's seems sounds like that might that's probably uh, what happened. An excerpt from the drowning machine. Came by eight. Now I'm, I wonder if we should check out the other parts that are available or if we should kind of just leave this where it is and let people who might want to dive more into this, uh, dive into it. Cause I think there is one or two more sections that are available. Um, but just a mixture of like wanting to cover more games, but also It's pretty, it's pretty dark themes going on in this one, like, I don't know if it's supposed to, like, take me somewhere now. Oh, there we go. It's okay, I can't stop seeing him either, I understand. So we could wake up or we could dive deeper. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to leave this one where it is. I think we saw a really good taste of what this is about and what this is like. And like, you know, all total respect to the dove and, uh, you know, condolences to their friend and stuff. Like, letters to the wanderer. I am kind of curious what that's about. Um, it opened something. Uh, the drowning machine is not only a story of loss and grieving, but one to celebrate the lives of those we've lost, as well as those who still wander. I want to create an expression of how much we as a community care for those we love. So please take the time to write a letter or even just a short note to Charlie if you knew him, or to a wanderer of your own, someone you've lost, or even a letter to yourself. I'll be compiling these accounts with your permission to be displayed with the full release of the drowning machine. Life is short, tell someone you love them today. So there's like a nice little message there. Um, so yeah, if anyone's interested in that, there is a link to that in the demo. It will take you letters to the wanderer, it's called. All right, let me close this. Oops. So you can live not knowing. Okay. And, um, we're already here. So now get, get into this next game. Oof. All right. Whoa, look at that. So when I go like up, down, right, left, that's really trippy. Okay. The Hellwald Loophole. It's a Metroid. I love how different every single one of these demos has been so far. Like, you think a little horror game's a horror game, but like these have all been completely stand out in their own ways. And I'm sure there's some of the same devs from the first demo that are in this as well, with a different game, I would guess. Well, there's a lot of head bobbing. That's locked. What's this? It's a bunch of boxes. And you can only examine that once. I kind of like that actually. That way you're not re-examining the same thing over and over. Tori's from the ramen, the killer ramen. I remember you telling me that actually. I'm surprised that Tori, there's a Tori demo in this. I didn't know Tori was a horror game. Cause isn't it just like a little bird you're platforming with? I guess I completely didn't know that. Because you told me about Tori, and I just assumed it was just like a cutesy platformer game. I wonder what they're storing here. A 
It's not a horror game, but it's a haunted game. Oh. Of course, I should have known. Oh. 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 off limits, especially for the likes of you. It's not like demented Animal Crossing characters. Isn't this the guy we found dead earlier? It is. He has that weird little line on his butt, I noticed. I opened it for him. Yo, look at his walking in. <laughs> he ran into the wall. I love it. Big chair. <laughs> Don't have a seat, please. Okay. Let's make it quick. You seem quite lost. Don't even know you to be frank. I've never seen you on this station. So there's only one thing I can do for you. What? Whoa. Oh. Oh, crap. Holy crap. He removed our liver. Oh, that, that escalated quickly. After running into Dr. Randolph, he offers to help you out. Although his suggested treatment is not quite what you imagined, he wants to remove your liver, obviously. <laughs> oh boy. Hopefully that, uh... Oh, I guess he's supposed to catch you. Ew. Is this the guy who did the dream game? Because this seems like I was already feeling that. And now the Roman numeral for like the different parts also reminds me of the dream, the uh, the Ansomnium or whatever it was called. Okay, we woke up in the same place, so maybe this is our second chance. So, might be of note. It changed before it was what is this? Oh. This mirror is... It's more mazy than it was last time. Where are you going? Oh! Did you hear that? Where are you going? Oh! Okay, he got me again. Uh, Dr. Randolph was quite concerned about your behavior. You appeared paranoid and actively tried avoiding his aid. He plans on accommodating you in the prison block temporarily. We're gonna get a three this time. Oh, one. Oh, it's the different endings. So this might be... The, the remember that one game where it was like bugs? And it was like an FPS in the first demo disc. That had a, like a different endings in it, I remembered. The fact that demo has different endings. Okay. Yeah, that, that is very cursed phrasing, I agree. We've not gone this way, I don't think. Ah, syringes. Bunch of empty syringes even. Could be useful. Yeah, if there's an unused one, I could use. I could get him with his own medicine, literally. I'm not seeing any though. He's that way. So what if? Oh, that one's. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's start to follow him to his office. And then, uh... Obviously we're going to... It's gotta be like another... There is another door down there. Okay. And right here, there's another door. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh no. Oh, it's locked, of course it is. 
Where is he? Oh, look at that. Oh! Oh, they can't do that! He must have went through the wall. That, that actually surprised me. So this is the same developer of Insomnia. I think that was little. I don't think he was supposed to go through that object. I think it's just I was close enough to his uh, hitbox, but they that they did get me there. Well, to be fair, this is a demo. Um, I I need to f I'm, I want to find out like I'm, I think there's a third ending at least where you can. Uh, I need to get him with a syringe. So I need to find a syringe somewhere. I think it's out there though. So I might make another run for it. I don't I feel like they want to make you go through this every time with See anything in there. I'm gonna wait until we start following him. And then um what? Oh, dude, chill out. <laughs> I was right behind you, my guy. I mean, if 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 Outlast was on the the poll and it won the poll, I mean that's I could potentially have played it. I haven't been through this room yet. I'm here. Damn it, I thought. Okay, I'll try one more time. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Maybe if we go into his office and there's something in there, and then we could always just run out early. I had checked the middle door before. It didn't look like there was anything in there, but I could look again. Unless you mean a different, different door. Next month, Joe wants to suggest Metro 2033 Redux. Oh, I can crouch. Look at that. Hmm. I wonder if that could change anything. The fact that we can go in here and then it says, oh, if we could find a syringe that's not used, it could be useful. Pretty certain we're looking for a syringe. I just don't know. Or a key to open a door that's locked to get another syringe. I just wish it didn't take so long to start going to his office. We could just run for it. Screw it. Where are you going? To your office. I, I went in there already. There's nothing Where really. Like, there's anything in there? Nothing in here, maybe? Where are you going? Oh, oh, there we go. Can I pick it up? It's not letting me. Maybe it was a. It was a red herring. What? Okay, well, we found a path, but I need to be faster, I think. I'll, I'll try again. I don't know how he caught me that time. I don't know if, like, I just didn't get enough of a head start. I Because I stopped there to try to get that syringe. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. That's exactly what I was like. I'll give it one more shot. I'll take that same path. That might just be an auto fail though, like if you go that way. I hope not. Huh, first time I noticed that.
Yeah, the fact that it's babbly until the... And then you can clearly hear what he's saying. Very dreamlike, which is very fitting for... Considering the last game they did. Empty syringes. Okay, if we auto fell here again, then I think we know that. We're... Yeah, okay, that's auto fell. I wish it was clearer that that's what that is. So I don't think I'm supposed to go uh, that way. So I kind of want to try one more time going in that direction, maybe. That, that's got to be an auto kill. But... but there, there's probably more rooms uh, in that way. Okay, one more, one more go. This one, I mean, this one actually isn't as long if you know what you're doing. I'm sure it's just I just haven't figured that out yet. Make November spooky month too. Dia de los muertos. Okay, so this this has got to lead to something else. Here we go. There we go. Can I get him now? Where is he? Maybe if I try to escape now, I'll get him instead. Cause he's gone. I don't think he's following me anymore. Let's see. It even says looks like my way out. Get him. Really? Okay. Hmm. So no matter what, you don't want to go that way. I found an unused syringe. So then maybe I go back and face him. De los Muertos on the J Reviews channel. It's too bad it's not like a week long or something. Where are you going? No worry, don't worry about it. This music is so unsettling. It's like the shining vibes or something. Unused syringe. Okay, I have it. So he's not chasing me. Okay, can I get him? Can I get him? Yes! Yeah. It's your boy. But now I can just leave. Or is he gonna get up and kill me again? Nope, he didn't catch me in the usual spot. While scouring through the office storage room, you discover some leftover anesthetics. You don't care if they're expired. All you want is to get rid of Dr. Randolph and whatever sick treatment he has in mind for you. Thus, you manage to escape into the sick ward. Ooh. That was just that one section. Oh. Yeah, I figured the syringe had to, I won't go back, had to have something in it because the whole point is we're trying to find a non-empty syringe. Because who cares if it's a used syringe that we need to put stuff into. Might be of note. Elwald Clinicum. Is Clinicum like German for clinic or something? This is uh, the, 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 a very good type of scary. I'll have you know. Oh, man. Okay, I'm glad that we kept going because there's more to this that we haven't, we would have missed out on. It looks inviting.
Oh, God. holy crap! Oh. Okay, that's hilarious. Wow, that wasn't even an enemy. <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I, tr as soon as he started talking, I trusted him. I don't know why. He was like, excuse me, and I was like, oh. And I turned around, like, immediately I just was, like, accepting that. Even though the other guy clearly... That was, that was amazing right now. It's like jump scare enemy that's gonna totally outrun you. And then, oh, he just wants your help on clogging a toilet. That's, that's pretty... Oh my god. I just remembered that you probably won't clean this up. But I could use some water. I'll have to call Nurse Idle Trout. How? Yeah, good question. That's that's the most horrific thing we've seen so far. This is so unsettling. He is following us. He might get angry if we don't get his water. What do you say? I can't believe none of you guys reacted to that. No, I don't think he called the nurse. I think he said run. I think he said nurse hide lit run. Oh my god. Hey Lee Joe, what's up? Oh boy. I don't know where I'm gonna find water though. Oh, a crowbar, that'll work, maybe. Nope, she heads butts me and I die instantly. Okay, so I was supposed to use the crowbar. That little trout takes good care of her patients, at least she likes to say so, but seeing you run around her ward with an unwieldy and dangerous crowbar was too much. She seems electric. She deems electric shock therapy a reasonable treatment. I like how she freaking headbutted us. Yeah, that's how you know it wasn't a patient when you got someone walking around on two legs. Oh, I hope it doesn't start us from the... Well, actually, that's not too bad. It's not like... Once you know what to do... Oh, they actually checkpointed us here, though. That's nice of them. Certain games could learn from such a thing, really. Dude, I, got, I, I want you guys to... Here's the crowbar. It's What if I didn't have the crowbar in my hands at that moment, though? So we need to use the crowbar in something else, clearly. I just don't know what. Here he comes. Wait, what? Oh, crap, that's not... Jesus Christ. He just came out right away this time. Oh, I got dead-ended. Oh, she got me. I think she just headbutts you. All right, let's try this again. I'm, I'm interested here. Maybe you're not supposed to pick up the crowbar. Maybe it's a, it's a red herring. The treak. Maybe they would have expected you to find the crowbar first thing, but I didn't find the crowbar first thing the first time. I swear we were going down that same hallway when the, the thirsty guy showed up. Uh, 
the first time. Right here. Yeah, and this time it's her showing up. I don't think we're supposed to have the crowbar yet. That's my current theory. Maybe it's okay. Lost here. Maybe, maybe somewhere in here. Oh! There we go. I didn't even notice that last time. After salvaging a crowbar from the sick ward storage, you managed to barely avoid Heideltraut's grasp and escape into the courtyard. There we go. I didn't notice that uh, the first time I went out there. Bye. Oh, we got the good ending. There was a fourth ending. I'm guessing it's if you don't have the crowbar and you run into Heideltraut, it just says something different. And I'm kind of curious, since we already got all the other four endings, I'm, uh... And we could speedrun this at this point. There are mul multiple pathways to different areas in the full game. This is another thing to where I, I assume that the full game isn't super long. It's maybe, um... Like that one game. What was that one game on Steam that's only about, like, an hour long? But it's like... The first time you play through it, none of it makes sense. It's very nonsensical. And then you play through it a second time and you, you start to kind of make sense of things. I can't remember the name of it. It has a weird name. Yeah, para Paratopic. It seems like a Paratopic type of thing. Where are you going? You got it because I described it so good. By saying, you know, that weird game. <laughs> but also, maybe you also get a similar vibe. Although, this is more of a game than that. Uh, I would argue. I mean, they're all games, but this one has a little more inter interactivity, I should say. Wow, he actually lost? I didn't realize he could, uh... I didn't realize you could actually lose him. I thought that... He would just keep chasing you. Your brain's being taken up by so many game names. I, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. You have to live up to your name. Hey, this time I'm going to let uh, Nurse uh, Pendleton Ward catch me without a crowbar just so I could see what it says. I'm curious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't snitch. He doesn't call her. He's warning us that she's coming. Let's see what he does. Look at that. I love that. It's just the fact that when I started turning around and running and as soon as I read, I'm in a pickle. I just immediately trusted him for some silly reason. Oh. Maybe he did call her. I thought he said run, though. You see that he vanished. Where is the nurse title trout? I want her to catch me so I can... I hope it didn't glitch. Oh, there she is. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> All the immensely constipated patient wanted after two torturous hours on the lo locus was a glass of water on the locus? Is that a, another phrase for the toilet? For the golden commode? For the, the golden throne, right? That's the other phrase. It's a real shame you weren't able to find one in time. There's how that's isn't too happy about that and we'll relocate you to another word. I don't think there is a glass of water. I didn't see anything that would suggest that, so. 
This should be ending four. Yeah, which will be... So I think they expect you to find the crowbar and then run into her. And then you're like, okay, I won't pick up the crowbar. And then, yeah, okay. So we, we I think we got all the endings here. Joe said I was so engrossed in my game, I didn't realize there was a stink bug on my TV. Oh no. Ooh, so we're, what was that, like five games so far? I feel like we need to at least do six. Because I think there's 22 games in total. Since I didn't get a start very early today, and it is a Thursday, I'll probably not run it super late today, but then maybe tomorrow or Saturday I could do like a longer stream of this and play more games in a row. Um, but I a locus is a specific point, like a focus, if you remember your geometry. Alright. Get out of here. Wow, they put a lot of work into this. They did they could have just used the same like PS1 demo style menu from the first one, but no, they they went above and beyond, I'll tell ya. Wait, so how many have we done? We've done... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We want to do at least six. Zach wants Tore, but... I don't see Tore on this floor. If it was on this floor... But I feel like I gotta... I gotta keep doing this floor before we change floor. So, so agony of a dying MMO. In 12 hours, a once popular MMO will permanently go offline. These are its final moments. Wow, that's such an interesting idea. Developer. They forgot to list the developer. Holy crap, what is all this stuff? Sexually explicit. Intro language themes. Okay. Um, we got to do this one now. Agony of a dying MMO. Whoa, look at this. Looks more like a text-based adventure. Is that what goes on in MMOs? The only one I really played was City of Heroes. Oh, foul language, sure. Did someone please explain to me who Adam is? Adam is a new coward who is so hard to read in the game. Nobody has found him yet. Oh, a new reward to be hidden in somewhere in the game. Developers have hinted he exists. Uh. Rumor goes, if you find him, you... If you find him, you... Rumor goes, if you find him, you... Something... Obtain unlimited power... Wait... Are you just saying that as a joke? You, if you find him, ultimate power, oh, you will obtain ultimate power in the game, or you break the level 99 caps, people have gone crazy trying to find him, lol, okay, interesting. Obtain ultimate. Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize you walk into it. What is that? Six from, uh. It looks like no pupils. Pupils. Um. It's a grown up six from 
full of nightmares. Huh. The the uh so this one has like a little pre open box thing where you could change the settings before you open it. The graphics quality is defaulted to very low. So I feel like I should leave it on that. I'm just gonna leave it on the default. Uh oh. My computer did not like that. Um, try it again. I'll, I'll try windowed. See if that fixes it. So far, so good. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this one does not want to load for me. See, is there any other options I have here? Try very high. Very high graphics. Yeah, I don't think this one's compatible with me. It's not working. Let's just say uh, it's cursed. And we'll go with the theme. We might have to look into this one another time. Okay, well, we're moving on to the next game. Maybe we could do this whole floor tonight. Well, let's not speak too soon. We'll see how... There's four games left. We'll see how long the next couple demos take. Eeb? Oh, sorry. I need to... Switch back. I always... That always gets me. Okay. Eeb. Peeb Adventures. Peeb goes on a comedic adventure to escape the back code of his game after being banished by a mysterious entity. Will he succeed? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. John Ellis, developer. Ben Drury, music. Kirkus, uh, Peeb Design Music. Timothy Desalian, monkey. Monkey. <laughs> yeah, blood and meat. Those are some good warnings. I'm glad I've been looking at the credits because that was a funny one. What if that that is supposed to, that is what's happening in that other game? It said the dev was nobody unless that was a pr a glitch, and like it just crashes when you open it, and that is like the final dying moments of a. Okay, this sounds like Donkey Kong 64. This music? That's gotta be on purpose. They can't do a... They can't do this in a PS1 style game. Oh, I'm actually picking up the bananas. This isn't allowed. They can't do this. It's like a Rareware style uh, N64 game. Oh. Ever Dream Softworks, chill. Oh hell yeah, we got our own custom. It actually does this when you boot up the PS1 uh, haunted demo disc, but still, I like that they they threw it under this. Peeves, Peeb Adventures. Oh, that's us, it's Peeb. Oh, it's a completely, wow. Hey Peeb, you should come over here and talk to me using E. This is finally not an FPS game. Like um, almost all of the ones in the first demo were FPS games on this one so far. Peeb, I'm... Oh, this is so banjo because we listen to that. This music is rare, rare to a T. Eve, I'm glad you've come to help us out. 
You can use a grappling hook on anything you find. Just hold left click to shoot it out. You should try it on those magic floating orbs ahead and see if you can make it to the castle. Yeah, this is like the letterboxing. This is uh... Oh, look when you... Bloop. He's so squishy. It's like if Rare did a PS1 game, basically. Sniff, talk to me, I'll tell you about saving your game. Hi, a peep, a chew. That lamppost will give you a checkpoint if you go near it. If you get even closer, you can interact to save your game. I'd do it, but I'm too scared. This is great. Bananas. They really had to make them bananas. Look, we got a nice hub world here. Monkey King! If you have three bananas, please feed me with E. Where is he? Oh! I see him. This is great. Because he pops out of the wall. We work peeve, only 992 more to go. Oh boy. Oh sure, I'll get you your 900. And... Your old friend needs bananas, please get some. Air portal to slumbering thorns inactive. Morning woods inactive. This one. Dusty desert inactive. Oh, this is lovely. One of these has got to be... Pumpkin Court. Boiling Straits. Oh, there's more bananas. Abyssal Depths. That's such a weird sound effect for picking up a banana, isn't it? Like... Looking like a keyboard key. Oh, how much is that one worth? Uh... What? Okay. I was gonna try to talk to those guys, but uh... Um... Alright, here you go. <laughs> I don't know if he needs this many bananas. This is a lot of bananas. He only needed a thousand. Oh! Okay, the music suddenly stopped. I'm curious to see if we could talk to these guys back here. <sighs> well, what did I expect to happen? Oh, yeah, you really can't get close to these guys. How about you? Can I get close to you? No, 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 no. I was just thinking that too, Fak. Uh, trying to get on top of the castle. Um... Just the right spot. Uh, hey, Plain Sam. Yes, this is the... Uh, I did a review and I streamed... Um, the pre... Whoops. That was really unchill. I wonder if that sound effect is different before you explode the monkey. Because that was very unsettling. You think I could get up there if I... S oh, you know what? From up here I can. Actually. I can only go so high. I don't know if I can... I 
can't gain height. Yeah, the problem is you can only aim it so high up. Oh wait, maybe from right here. Yeah, I can't do the uh, swingy thing. Is there actually something up there? Yoshi. I could get up to the top of the castle on Mario 64 without the cannon easier than this. I, I, Cause I can't get height off of swinging left and right. Is that like you read that like in a strategy or? Or are you just guessing? I can't figure this out. Oh, you just assumed? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in then. I don't think we're able to do that. More monkeys. Or it's like statues. Hello. Orbo. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping with my eyes open. Hello. I think I'm supposed to stop you from going further into the castle. I don't really care. Go ahead, I guess. I'll see you around. Alright. Ooh! Talk to him again. Cool, the gate's open. <laughs> Please don't tell my boss, okay? What the? Okay. All right, so you have like all these like whatever drawing monkeys and renaissance and then Jesus on the cross or someone being crucified. That's a little, uh... Platforming is actually really awkward, but I feel like that's on purpose. It's like, why? Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Okay, what I need to do is. There we go. He does look like Hubert, you're right. Patterns actually. There is the uh, circle triangle plus. Oh, you want to make it face towards them? No, you don't. They can only face one or the other. Okay. So, square plus triangle. So, we want. I didn't name him Peep. That'd be funny if you just walk through the bars like this is pointless. Face the entrance that I came? Well, here's the thing. This one has like one pattern and this one has the other. So you figure they both need to like face each other. Uh, but okay, I'll try that. I didn't do anything, did it? 
Because how can you satisfy both? Unless... Okay, now we're just gonna have to keep turning them one at a time until they just happen to be in the right spot, I think. Oops. There we are. So that so what it was is this needs to match that. And then this needs to match that. So I had it backwards. Oh gosh. It's probably gonna be very gory. It was. Let me put Walter on the bed real quick. two keys oh this is only one one game one demo and a whole collection of demos uh plain sam this is actually the most different one so far because <laughs> the other ones have been like all like fps games oh hello is that a one up oh we have lives i didn't even realize we had lives i shouldn't have purposely uh forgot i could jump i legitimately forgot i could jump wait Oh, you grab it, right? Like anything else? I feel like I'm supposed to grab that. Okay. You need to actually be careful if there's uh, lives in this game. your grappling hook here. Just, I was wondering why that wasn't working. Oh, dang it. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I found the secret. Uh, oh, I was supposed to interact with E, wasn't I? to waste this last life. Looks like Lover from the back. I remember renting Glover as a kid one time and like uh, never renting it again. <laughs> oh, there's a thing in there. There's a red thing. What is that? Whoa. <laughs> There is a hole to nowhere can be opened with red key in green world. Understand? 
What? Oh, I found a secret red key because we were looking for a blue key and a green key. But we just found a red key. I think we're in blue land right now, right? So it's a good thing we uh, went here first since apparently... But this seems like a secret, you know what I'm saying? We're about to find some kind of secret. Who knew that there was a red key? Well, it's a good thing I died there because then I would have missed that actually. But that actually ended up being quite serendipitous. Should I do the normal thing first and then do the red key thing? Oh god, it's you. Welcome to the peak of this mountain. Up ahead is a locking carrier. It'll force your grapple to stay on until you reach your destination. No going back. At least not unless you want to ascend the entire mountain again. Okay, so this is our quick travel back, basically. Go for the red key thing? Okay. Wow, it's actually taking us back manually. I thought it would just teleport us. I do wonder what's in there. Alright, so now we want to go to Green World. The thing is, the uh, it'll probably be like another red door like that we have to find. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for a secret. Whoa, Green World is very green. I think I see the red from back here. Hopefully we'll find the red. Okay, that's quite a long time we have. Actually, oh wait, I saved myself. Hey, it's your boy. There's lots of color spectrums happening in this game. It's your boy, P. Oh, that's the secret. Oh, it's the PS1 uh, Haunted Demo Disc logo. Is this something I could pull, or is this just a little... I think this is just a secret room, like, uh, with an Easter egg. Is that almost... Oh, wait! There we go. Now, what did that do? It must do something, right? Oh no, it kills you from behind too. Hope we don't game over. Oh no! Okay, I saved myself. Ebiz has the ultimate safety line. Oh boy. This, whoa, this place is dangerous. This is where we're really using our tether. That's that's the pro tether. Oh, what's this? 
That's the hole to nowhere. Let me just save right here first. Wait, that's not the end, is it? No, there's more. Okay. Oh. That's like a secret level, though. Are you sure we should go straight in here? What do you guys think? Should we finish this level first, or should we just go right into the red hole? Okay, faxes do it. Let's let's see. This might be like the actual way you beat the game, though. We might be kind of oh, that looks like the dev's face. Um. Oh, oh, they just pulled the Mario Galaxy. I can't change the camera perspective because they want me to keep looking at that face, probably. Can they really not change the camera? Weird. Maybe it's part of the challenge. See, that's why I want to change the perspective. It could be a little tricky to tell. You don't have a shadow. Where you're going to land. No! <sighs> Damn it, I hope that's not game over. Ball out! Okay. They didn't, uh, they didn't game over me, thankfully. I just really wish I could change the perspective. This is not how I would be looking at the ball if I had the choice. Don't they say that on Super Monkey Ball too? When you when you fell, doesn't it say ball out? Okay, let's not compare this to Resident Evil now, okay? There there may be some slight differences between this and that. This part just always worries me because you can't really see where you're going to land. See? Oh, man. They both start peeb. I can't believe I... I almost got it on my first go, but then I just... I went too fast at the end there. You had a shadow peep. Okay. No! Oh, damn it. I almost saved it. I don't know why, why, why I'm having so much trouble now on that part. I think the reason why the camera is like that is because they want you to keep they want you to keep in mind that the face is always looking at you. That's my guess. Okay, we're here now, so let's just be careful.
Okay. So that was that. I think we're gonna have to move we're gonna move on to the next demo. That was interesting. I like that. Cause I'm sure there's something else if you do the, the blue and the green key and go the normal way. But uh yeah. We've had a nice good taste of peeb. let's oh wait continue if it lets us like continue oh you know what we'll just do it then i thought i was gonna have to like redo it all jesus the speed of that thing oh wait I went too early there. That was my bad. Did I never? No, I did. Okay, so we we saw the red key ending. Now, let's see the what would have been the standard ending, I believe. Oh, there it is. That was fast. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. Yeah, I've just been waiting here for you. Anyhow, you can grapple that Orbocopter trademark to get back to the entrance. Okay. That's just you, except the helicopter. I like how they actually bothered to make it different from the other level. Alright. Yeah, they do present your nightmare. Okay, now let's see the standard ending when Fak isn't having us jump into holes to nowhere. Maybe a boss fight? Of course I can, I'm Peeb. Peeb can always save himself, that's why he's Peeb. Oh, my lives are at negative, whoops. Negative one. That's what all games should have done back then. Nice to see you again, little man. This hallway leads up to the Monkey King's throne room. At least it was the Monkey King's throne room until you killed him. Anyhow, I don't really recommend going in there right now. Freaky kind of guy hogging the throne to himself. Probably gonna go nuts if you interrupt him. Don't have anything else to... Freaky kind of guy. Who could it be? Conquer? I gotta do Conker's Bad Fur Day on here at some point. Uh, Usurper. You finally come. Come to help your precious monkey and get my th his throne back, huh? Listen to your pip squeak. The crown's mine. Got it? Now don't perform a ground pound or I'll be really cross. I have a ground pound? I'm not sure how you managed to get in here. I thought I locked the castle door really well, but I guess it doesn't matter. The world has been abandoned and I have taken it up upon myself to rebuild it. Block by block, light by light, audio source by audio source. I know you're an obstacle for me, but I don't hate you. You can't help yourself. You were programmed to get my crown and return it to the Monkey King. In doing that, you'll restart the game. My progress will be erased. I can't destroy you without destroying the game, so I'm left with no choice. Don't take this personally, I just want my freedom. Uh, Monkey King's dead, dude. Whoa, 
He spat us out back to the menu. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot more to this. Well, not a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I'm glad we came back. You've done it now. Now we're in this cool checkerboard place. You can go ahead, I'm just gonna stand here. Something you need? Yes. Well, look, it's the next, it's the next hub world. Rolling star unavailable. Another rolling level. Super P bout of unavailable. Deep star racing unavailable. Oh, this one works. The crystals of Gringle. Let me just look at what this last one's. Darkness beckons. Wow, that one of the levels actually works. RPG. Deep Adventures! Oh, okay, so that's the end of it. Fever Dream John. Shaking his nose. They're friends now. They've come to an agreement. There's a thing up there, Fag. I just kind of reach it. Look at that. At least I found one of them. Games official Fauna's National Park regular. We did it! Yet another PS1 haunted demo completed. Uh, yeah, I was muted. I was gonna say, I haven't seen that error floating thing in forever. I feel like... Wait a minute. Windows Firewall has blocked some features of this program. Epic game. My firewall was acting weird, but I guess we're fine now. I just need to get OBS to uh, get on the same page now. Okay, allow access. Now we're good. Oh no, it pushed the uh, YouTube chat over to the side. I don't know why some games do that. So let me, um...
sorry, I'm having some minor issues. Vanished. Okay, now we're good. Sorry about that. But my can my mouse isn't. It's not letting me move the mouse. Oh, now it is. Good. Okay, single player. I've never played I'm scared a pixelated nightmare now. But I'm about to play Tmod. That's anything like it. Looks like Gmod. At last you back. If you forgot how to play it's simple. Open the spawn menu with the Q key. Enter God mode with V. And then there's a physics gun. Holy crap, I haven't played Gmod. Probably literally in like. Oh man. Over 10 years, maybe. My brother was super into Gmod. That's the only reason I probably played it at all. I'm in god mode now. I forgot how to, how to descend. <laughs> Left click to spawn prop, right click. Press E and both. Look how you like throw stuff though. I, I missed some of the instructions. Huh, I wonder if this is literally what, just what this is. Or if you have to like mess around and like figure out some other stuff. Oh, the error. Oh yeah, you can spawn like people. Aren't they supposed to like, be alive though? Whoops, I'm spawning error now. Wait, did I change my- how did I- uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. What happened to my gravity gun? supposed to be happening? I feel like I changed guns by accident. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there's a pistol. Now this this was the only game so far to not have any warnings. You don't even have blood when you shoot things, they kinda of just fly around. So maybe this is what this is. It's just a demo, so there's only so much you can do. There's a pool of errors back here. This is such a weird image. Like at the bottom of a lake and there's just a bunch of floating 3D errors like spinning around above you. God, my... Probably can't go out of these bounds, I'm guessing. Oh, no, we can. 
Yeah, I was just thinking that too. Like, what if we go to the buildings? Uh... I think that's what happens in the regular game, huh? I was just flying around in the background. Yeah, I think this is what all this game is, which is fine, it's funny. Um... Oh, you can like attach things to things, huh? Yeah, I'm not exactly... Best. How many balloons can be attached? Oh, look, it's floating now. If we attach enough of these, I accidentally put one bucket to the floor too though. Look at that. This is scary, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that floating arrow with the balloons. I bet no one ever did this in Gmod. I, I pioneered this, you know. Alright, I'll probably uh, move on to the next demo now. This is cool. Oh, oh, it fell into the earth. I'm gonna put some thrusters on everything. Let's put some thrusters on this bad boy. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Unprecedented T mod action. No one's ever seen it's like a it's like a sun with planets just spinning around it. Oh this is this is how you this is how you play a mod, let me tell you. As in, look at this. Alright. <laughs> I think we're good now. Let's uh What's in the main menu? There's like multiplayer mode. I mean, this was a fast demo, so I mean, that's that's good in, in one sense. Now, could, I think we have time to do the two other demos on the floor of, of the museum. Then I can uh, put my windows back where they were before. Okay. Two more we have. Walk. Walk. Demo for upcoming horror game from Japan. Blood and Blood. Right. Walk. What do you say? Oh, oh, this is so trippy. Instead of like making actual models, it's like a flat 2D background design. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so unsettling. And it's a vending machine to get into the game, of course. Yeah, this one's a smaller screen for me. It's like, like a little, uh, that was, yo, yo, cursed PS1 intro, but like their own version. And then they still throw that in there. By the way, is my volume okay? Cause 
I guess my brother hopped in earlier because he actually messaged me while I was taking Walter out that my mic sounded a little low, but I might have just been talking quieter earlier. Azumi Game Studios. Walk. I think they altered it, it enough that, uh... Volume. <laughs> It's like a Thebe. Oh, they got a PlayStation controller uh, on the, the, that's cool. So, okay, all the basic stuff. Oh, like you could do space or enter for the action. That's, that's cool when they do that. Walk. Yeah, they, they were accurate. Yo. That's like a digitized actual photo. Oh, it's Resident Evil. No, it's not. It's actually not tank controls, but it's similar. It is actually the whatever direction you press is where you walk automatically. I love that low frame rate. You know about this game? Whoa, the camera zoomed in. Did you see that? Uh, quick. Don't be seen. Okay, let me go behind this then. Let's chill. Hopefully he goes away soon. This is walking back and forth, so I think I'm going to try to. Oh, good, he went that way. Works for me. Did the music's building up? Fish. Seems legit. Oh, I stepped on the fish. Hey, 200. Do I have 200? probably need 200 yen. Oh, they really let you walk far off screen uh, before it perspective change. Okay, so I need to find 200 yen, I think. And then go buy the drink. I tried uh, interacting with the fish, but I could only step on. Oh, there's that guy. That's cool. Hello, sir. It's really hard to tell how far down you're allowed to go. So. Oh, there's something on the ground over there shining. That might be money. You see that? It's just like a tiny like pixel big. I'm trying to um, move back onto the screen, but it's really quick. I don't know if like I'm stuck on something or what. I love the aesthetic of this, but there's just, just the one thing is uh, 
the, the camera angle doesn't switch soon enough when you get close to the end of the screen. He's probably going to kill me now. I, I can't find myself at all. I don't know what's going on. I might have to restart this. I seem to be completely lost. The way to... He's not even seeing me either. At this point, I kind of would hope he would just get me. He's coming towards me, I think. That's where I was last time. I, I was trying to find a reset, but there doesn't seem to be a reset option. Like, there's no menu that... Oh, wait. There we go. I wasn't working before. Okay. I'm, I'll, uh... It hears your footsteps move quietly. Try this again. Oh, you're going to play RE8 for the first time? Nice. Hope, I hope you enjoy it. Alright. So maybe this will be... It might just be like a 100 yen coin though, then we'll have to... Yep. We're going to have to find another one. Oh! Well. I think he got me. Unfortunately, we're missing the animation because I'm behind our vehicle. Dead. Well. Like she or something. All right, let's try this one more time. Joe, are you playing RE8 on um, your Xbox Series S, Series X, or whatever? Because it, it'll probably look really good. Like, I played it on PS4 and it already looked, like, gorgeous, so... The crow, okay. I think he was having a bad time. Alright, so there's a 100 yen. So, I'm gonna hide back here. And then do what I did last time, basically. I waited for him to come down and then walk the downwards and I'll run past them. Look, he's not walking towards me. It looks kind of like he's walking towards me right now. You walk really slowly in this game, by the way. I'm holding left, okay. But your run is like really slow. Your run speed in this is like your walk speed in a, like, a Resident Evil game. <laughs> Maybe if we keep going this way. Oh, this way? No. The 
this way. It's really tricky to figure out where you can go that'll lead to another location. Because you go really far off screen before you can tell that you're not supposed to. So there must be another direction down here I'm supposed to be going. He might be coming down from this way, but... Oh yeah, here's a new spot. I guess he caught me, but I can't see either of us again. Let's see, should I, should I give it one more try? The other coin is probably down this way. I think I'll give it one more try, because we know where one coin is. I think I'll go left first. I'll try to see if that is indeed where the other coin is. Oh, it restarted the whole thing. What the heck? Don't do that. I don't remember doing this last time, did it? Like, usually you just to go right back into it. I like how you could hear bits and pieces of the actual PS1 like startup music. Come on. This intro is so long, I can't skip it. Residential walking one. Okay, we're gonna go left first. Because he always comes down from the top left, so it'd be safe to check out this area for now. I think the run uh, key also doesn't always trigger. Or you have to like re-trigger it when it changes screens. Okay, I don't see any shiny coins on the floor. I love the digitized uh, photos being used for the backgrounds. It's locked. Gotcha. Whoa! There's wet so many more areas we didn't check out last time. Let me see if I could read that. Ga kaka dei mas. Ga ka 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 dei mas. Oh, okay, so this goes down. He's coming. Oh, there's the coin. Okay, so we know where the two coins are now. Oh gosh, where am I? I don't know where this guy is though. Oh, I think I see his shadows up there. Okay, this is a dead end down here, I think. So. We basically need to wait for him to go away so I can go and get the other coin. I am curious what's to the right here too though. Oh, nothing, okay. Wow, that actually blocked me off for once. <laughs> We, we gotta- oh, he's coming up from the top. I just saw him. Damn it. I wonder if I could hide here. He's coming down, isn't he?
He needs he needs to get He needs to move away or else I'm not gonna be able to go back and get that that drink. Oh I forgot about the crouching. Thank you for reminding me, I completely forgot. Oh well. At least we gotta see the death animation more close up this time. The problem is like you the game doesn't give you the warning at the proper times it just kind of goes on and off uh, if it lets me restart right away I'll try one more time uh, yeah okay then it like re restart the whole intro all right so we know where the two coins are the problem is going to be getting back around him because you don't know where he is when he's off screen. And also he seems to stick around like that. There's not much area to like go around him I feel like from here to uh back up to the other coin parking lot. And I wonder if the drink has the key and then that's also, well, you will be coming back this way. You think he has a set path or pattern? Maybe. He wasn't coming down here before though when I when I, before I started coming down here, I feel like. Probably out there right now, but... Yep, here he comes. It's so slow, it's like ridiculous. Wait, is he beneath? There he comes. So I'm gonna crouch right here. And I hope he just turns back around. Although if he goes past me, that could be good too, because then I could run to the other parking lot. This might be what we have to do. Are you turning around? Please don't turn around. You are turning around. Oh god, so I need to... Go, just go, just go. Oh, please go. Run. Run. Oh, so slow. Look at how slow. Zoom. Okay, we have both coins. I do. I do remember it saying it could clear footsteps, but I'm. I'm waiting for him to pop out because I know he's gonna try. Did I just go for it? I'm just gonna go for it. If the warning pops up. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna hide. And hope that he don't go up there. I need to go up there. Okay, turn around. Yeah. Okay, go back down that way. Here we go, baby. We're gonna get that drink. We are going to get that drink. Oh, he's coming. Come on. Yes. And the key was in there, just like I thought. Now I need to hide because he's coming this way now. So this would be the place to hide, I think. So we'll try. 
to go open that gate, but if we get caught one more time, I think we'll move on to the last demo of the night. That means we're safe. Should mean we're safe. It's all the way up there. Okay, come on. Run, come on. Come on, baby, come on. Just get to the gate. Come on. Come on. Come on. We just feel like we're running in sand. Oh, we're gonna make it to the gate. This is probably where the demo ends too, I'm guessing. Oh! What the? Um, am I supposed to be doing something? What's happening? Wait, did I screw something up? What, what happened? We got to the gate. I couldn't see, I couldn't tell if we needed to start running. I couldn't really see at all what we were looking at really. I, that might have been a segment where, okay, now start running or something. But I couldn't tell what I was looking at. I really like the idea and the tone of this one, but I don't understand. Like, I, I feel like the execution is kind of sloppy. If they checkpoint me there and I have another chance to run, we'll give it a shot, but I'm not gonna do it all over again. It doesn't even look like it's getting past the dead screen anymore. I couldn't tell, it looked like the perspective changed from the inside of the gate, so I was trying to like open it still. But maybe the gate was behind us at that point? I don't know. But also maybe that was just the ending because it's stuck here now. I don't know. Uh, all right, well, well, we're gonna move on to the last demo now. It's gonna close manually. Okay. All right, so definitely a neat idea if they could just iron some of the some of the rough patches out. That could be really cool. Like you, you like. Don't let the player walks have the player walk so far off screen before it shifts to the next section. And then I would say increase the speed a little bit because you're just a little too slow to the point where it feels a little sluggish. Fiend's Isle. And then also that last part with whatever was happening, I couldn't tell. Fiend's Isle is an action RPG roguelike. Roguelike? What the heck? I didn't expect to see a roguelike here. Inspired by first-person games of the mid-90s, explore a procedurally generated dungeon, collect loot, fight skeletons. Well, I didn't expect to end um, tonight's demo sessions with a roguelike. Whoa! I still think that these uh, custom rooms are really cool, though. to interact. What's L and B? What does that mean? Oh, left mouse button, huh? Okay. Yeah, most PS1 games 
With dark graphics or atmospheres, the player character color palette's designed to stand out, pop out from the environment. Yeah, which that could also would, would help with that other, uh, look at this. Sprint. Take this, you fiendish skeleton. That's a weird noise for a skeleton to make. Give me your loot. I don't think I can pick up the loot. It's slime. Snake? The grass. That is such a weird noise. Oh, the slime's hurting the skeleton now. There's a coin inside of it. Holy King's filled. Found me a coin. Zach, would you expect that the, the final demo of the night would be a roguelike? The OG Dark Souls, yeah. This is it. Compass. Apparently it's Zelda too. Can I go into the well? Oh, I threw a coin into the well. Does it do anything? Nothing to offer. Huh. I wonder if I was supposed to do that. I thought that those were like pieces of map that I was seeing, like like land or something, but it's just the northwest southeast. It's it was described as a roguelike on the information screen. It said procedurally generated. The skeleton seems especially Oh! He killed me. That skeleton was like especially. Well, let's see. Let's see if it if it changes. Oh, it is changes. The entrance is already in a different spot. The compass is straight out of Kingsfield as well. Oh, where the heck's the entrance at? What the heck? Unfortunately, when you stand still, your stamina doesn't go up faster. Hopefully that's something they would add to the final version. Whoa, what the heck? You can throw poison at me? Oh, that's exactly what you were about to do. Oh, worm killed me. The sandworm. See if I can kill it this time. When he pops out, he has the poison, though, I think. Oh, he didn't do it that time. The two stabs, and then we're safe. Wow, this guy has a lot of health. Ten hits, I think, that took. Oh! He's shriveled. He, like, he went limp, rather. This one was called Fiends, Fiends, what was it called? Fiends Landing or something? I forgot the name of it. It was Fiend something. They, they die so anticlimactically. Fiends Isle, there you go. I find that bridge again, maybe the bridge will be up now. 
Oh, there it is. Probably the most basic game to end on, but it's different. All the games on this have been really different so far. Ow. Oh, I could pick that up. I, I was trying to before, but I didn't, it looked like it wasn't working. So, wait. Do I not? It didn't look like I had a choice between a different weapon. Are the effects mind-boggling? Uh, oh, there we go, short sword. There we go. That ought to be better than a dagger. Yeah, I wasn't... Like, I had to use the... Wasad doesn't let you scroll. You have to use the, the arrow keys, even though you don't use the arrow keys for the gameplay. And you're using... You have the mouse in your right hand, so you'd have to, like, stop touching the mouse to do that. It didn't feel like... Okay, he died in three hits instead of four that time. They're not dropping me coins anymore, but notice. Alright. Take this, Skullman! I could actually pick that. Health? Green herb. Ah. Wait, did he just... Did they just make a smoking noise? Did you hear that? Yeah, I tried cutting them the first time I saw it. I didn't think to just, like, straight up interact with them. So that kind of... I think I need to run. <laughs> yep, you just have to run through. Crap, that would suck. Uh-oh, oh god. A worm. A bit of treasure, maybe there's something in there. Sends fortress? What's this? Oh, a giant key, that's what that is. For this? Oh, the compass, right, that was what we had found last. Sends fortress sounds familiar, what is that? Level in Dark Souls 1. I, I, okay, I must have just heard it off like my brother. Oh, purple skeleton. Is that a reference to the mascot of this? Oh, it literally is. Look at him. Is he, does he want me dead? Oh, he does want me dead. I literally just saw the purple skeleton first, so... That's really funny that when we got closer, it's like, oh, he has the whole suit on. Oh, damn it! I hit my back to a wall. I'm gonna try one more time. I wanna try to get past that. I could have healed more too, probably. Only thing is finding the entrance sometimes. Right? I'm just gonna ignore you, worm. I don't think the. I tried to interact with the worm before and it wasn't letting me, so I assume it's a. Uh, doesn't give you anything. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like Link or something, or like a sound from like a 3D Zelda. Doesn't it? Okay, so that's for the bridge, so we already got that. I 
there's the well, but we didn't get any coins this time. Oh, there's one with a coin. It didn't do anything though, so I don't know. Maybe there's a chance something could happen. Oh, or maybe you could throw the, s the extra swords into the well too. I've only found like up to two coins. Maybe there's like a third coin somewhere I never found. Oh, there's two chests this time. Crossbow. That's what I'm talking about. I keep finding the compass. I didn't know there was a crossbow. swinging axes, what the heck? There's the other coin, we'd have to like, go all the way back to the well though. We've already put two coins in the well before, it didn't do anything, so I think you would need at least three if there is something that's supposed to do. Okay, we got the big key. I'm assuming that's for the door past the purple skeleton. So that should lead to the next area with the purple skeleton. Plenty of health items this time. Whoops. Oh, we better use them. Oh, that's not risky. Oh, oh, it doesn't pause. Holy crap. I didn't realize that. Okay, that's good to know. You're not allowed to pause because it's based on a From Software game. A okay, purple skeleton, I think he's in that room because that looks like the same door. Yep, there he is. And I, I'm going to try my crossbow. Oh, this works. Hey! Gotta have a special weapon, right? Nope, just another... I'm guessing the big keys for this door. Yep, I think it was. And a demo. Yep, alright, we beat it. Sweet. That's always satisfying. Right. Dean's Isle. Not bad. Uh, it may have just frozen. close this. Yeah, it says not responding.
Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I, it keeps tripping me out. Like, I was like, wait, I thought we exited the game, but like, duh, it's because of the hub thing. It's so sneaky. I, I, I like really, really appreciate that they put all the work making an exhibition, like, hub spot for each. Each, uh, one. All right, well, I'm glad we were able to do this whole floor tonight. I think there's two more floors total. Yeah. So, next, tomorrow, probably, we'll do floor two, and then we'll probably do the third floor on the final stream. Let's just take a little peek real quick. Oh, whoops. Of course, I would forget that. Um... Yeah, all I did is I went in the elevator and I uh, went up to the second floor. I haven't even looked yet. All right, so here's the second floor. We'll be doing this uh, tomorrow, probably. Like, oh, Tori 3D, that's what back wanted. Raizu, Arizu, ghastly goodies. Like, this already looks pretty promising. I should actually make sure that the third floor actually has just as many. Why is it not letting me back in? Uh oh. Oh, chameleon? The chameleon, you own it? Whoa, okay, the third floor. That which gave chase. Okay, the, the third floor, good thing I checked. Oh no, there's more games up here. Less, not as many, but I assume that, I don't think they're like any shorter or anything, I'm assuming. Oh no, there's only like five up here. Yeah, there's five. Yeah, some of these actually become full games, some of them are just demo, like, are like concept ideas, I guess. And then how many are down here? One, two, wait, hang on. One, two, three. Ten. So if there's 15 left, we must have just did, we probably did like about 10, huh? Was it 25 total? That's not about right. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out anyways. That next, Tomorrow we'll do start on the next floor. And maybe we'll do all the demos next. Maybe we'll save the last one for a final one. We'll see. But anyway, I think that's good for tonight. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Like just like the first one, like all this crazy stuff. I'm really looking forward to see uh, what's gonna be next. So thanks everyone for joining as always. Hope you have a great rest of your night. It's almost Friday, baby. Heck yeah. Okay, guys. You have a good spooky night, but not spooky. Just a good night. All right. Peace out.